So another film that I saw uh, <laughs> before our hiatus, our national, international uh, theatrical hiatus, was The Hunt from Universal. This was a film that was controversial. Was it controversial? I'm not sure. Uh, it, I think they hope it's controversial. It was not released earlier in the year due to this controversy that may or may not have existed. And it came out again like a week before all the theaters closed. So I was able to see this at the Alamo Draft House somewhere in the South. I don't remember which one it was. One of the Alamo Draft Houses, which of, of which I'm a giant fan of that chain. And so The Hunt, what is it? It is basically most dangerous game, age-old story that's been shot over and over and over and over again through the years, this time with more of a contemporary political spin to it. It is about a bunch of elites, a bunch of, of left-wing, uh, lefty pinko rich people who kidnap uh, conservatives or people who are, you know, uh, right-leaning red state people on, online who are verbal about it, and then they take them off to this secret location and basically they have to try to survive while these liberal people hunt them with uh, high-powered rifles and, and crazy weaponry. So, is it any good? Um, it's entertaining. I, I didn't love it because to me, it, it, it could have tried to say a lot more about what's going on in the political and ideological divide in this country than it does. It really tries to, it tries to skewer everybody and it tries to make everybody uh, look stupid basically. And uh, to me, that's like, well, I hate all these people. What's the point of this movie? I don't, I don't, I'm not rooting for anybody necessarily. I don't necessarily like anybody. Um, both sides do get humanized before the film is over. Both sides do are made to be shown as not that different in some ways. Both being, you know, human beings, but different ideologies. But it was just, it tries to be very edgy and extreme with the violence and the gore and people just suddenly dying. Um, I, I will give it credit that it does something that Psycho did many years ago, uh, better arguably, it, Psycho doing it better, that uh, you start the movie with a certain character and you presume you're gonna follow their journey and suddenly they're gone. And then you're with another character and you're like, oh, so it's this person I recognize. No, they're dead too. So that was kind of a surprise. The people who are the leads in the film are not uh, terribly well known. There is sort of a surprise, save for later in the movie with a pretty recognizable actress, but uh, overall it's, it's more low key in the casting. And basically, it's just you, you wind up focusing on this, you know, conservative woman who is trying to survive against people who pop up out of the woodwork almost literally with high powered machine guns and things trying to kill her. And it's goofy. It's very nihilistic. It's a style of comedy that's very common now that I don't really care for where everybody's nasty and nobody's lives matter and who cares and whatever. And that's ultimately what I felt about uh, this movie. I mean, it had some good action-y sequences here and there. It's predominantly a comedy. Uh, it's really dark and nasty, and I didn't particularly care for it, probably for most of those reasons. Now, I know some of the controversy was that it was a movie about liberals hunting down conservatives, and oh my god, it's liberal Hollywood enacting their fantasies. Not really. It's uh, It was actually produced or written by a couple of the guys who were involved with Lost, and to me, it's clearly, you know, lefties who are trying to, you know, show that everybody's bad. But it, it was just, I don't know, it, it, left or right doesn't matter to me as far as this movie is concerned. It was down to the writing and the performances. The writing I thought was not terribly good. The performances were okay. Some of the action execution was okay. But ultimately, there's just a whole other bustle of movies. Is bustle a word? Basket. Let's say a nice wicker container full of movies that have the same ground covered that I would prefer to see again than The Hunt. Um, this is another film that is now available through Universal Online. If you want to pay $20 and cut your local theater out of the loop, uh, you can watch The Hunt online now for uh, 20 bucks. Uh, if not, uh, again, I don't know that by the time theaters open up again, this will still be on anybody's radar. I think this will have fallen through the cracks and uh, you'll just catch up with it on home video. God, it may hit home video by the time the theaters open up at the rate we're going now. So that is The Hunt, and um, I would recommend instead, uh, God, any version of The Most Dangerous Game, perhaps, or, or Turkey Shoot, that's kind of fun. That's a really bizarre, uh, nutso uh, Australian Ozploitation movie with uh, Steve Railsback about sort of a futuristic society where people are hunted, it's Running Man, another, another good one. Uh, just, but if you want the modern, edgy, uh, timely bent, there's the hunt.